bid everyone good morning. Welcome to our hearing on the long-term impact of Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Rita. We have this morning an excellent panel of witnesses who will help us examine this issue from several different perspectives. The Gulf Coast hurricanes, horrendous as they are, are not a new topic for Congress. A number of committees have already held hearings on this topic. Those hearings led to legislation to improve our efforts along the Gulf Coast, and in this case, the case of this committee, to fund the 2008 budget resolution to better address critical needs. But this is the first hearing on this topic at the Budget Committee. We schedule it because we want to examine budget-related issues from a longer-term perspective. Among the questions we'll examine today, what have expenditures been to date? That's very basic, but in this case, expenditures are substantial, unprecedented. What additional expenditures are likely to be required to finish the job and rebuild the Gulf Coast, and over what period of time? We need to know that as we prepare budgets that extend into the out years. And finally, what is the appropriate federal share? We can't pick up the entire amount, but neither can local and state government. This August will be two years since Hurricane Katrina made landfall and overwhelmed the levees in New Orleans. The devastation has been well chronicled, and so have the costly mistakes made in the initial response. In many cases, those mistakes will have long-term as well as short-term costs, both in financial and human terms. At the same time as resources were being misspent on trailers and other supplies that would never be used, there were significant bottlenecks in supplying funds to rebuild infrastructure needed immediately and to help homeowners rebuild and come home. Those delays often led to lower and slower private investment and higher building costs. In addition to hearing from our witnesses today, the Congressional Budget Office has compiled at our request information on hurricane-related spending. CBO's analysis is very useful, but CBO was forced to rely on flawed accounting and tracking data as part of the executive branch. That gap has seriously limited our ability to make up some of the comparisons that would help us institutionalize disaster management successes in the 90s or learn from more recent mistakes. As we move forward, it will be important to address these issues, and I hope our witnesses will offer suggestions. The communities devastated by Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Rita still face costly challenges in rebuilding their homes, their schools, their hospitals, their entire infrastructure. Rebuilding calls for careful long-term planning and for targeted investments. We hope that our discussion this morning and the more detailed information we obtain will help this committee and the Congress and CBO capture the probable cost of a long-term rebuilding effort and reform the processes that failed in 2005. 